What's going on? My name is Cole Connor. I am an artist and entrepreneur. And today I want to talk about how to create a home YouTube studio setup like this on a low budget. Let's get into it. What's going on? My name is Cole Connor. I'm an artist and entrepreneur, and I was put here to do two things create and inspire. Thanks for being here. Let's get into it. First off, I just want to say that you do not have to have this to film YouTube videos. You can literally film on the couch, you can sit on the ground, you can go outside, you can go in your kitchen, your bathroom, your desk. You don't have to do it. You can walk around and vlog. What I will say is that it can be really inspiring as someone who does like to just sit down and talk in one place to have an area in your home that just encourages creating and encourages filming. That's what this space does for me. I feel the vibes. I got Bianca right here. I got Mickey, which I'm going to bring Mickey the money tree in this shot. He usually is in the shot. Ah, you can barely see him, but we got Mickey the money tree right here. It's important to have these vibes to inspire you as a creator. And your personality gets to kind of shine through, which is it's cool. Your YouTube set completely depends on what inspires you personally and what makes you feel good and what makes you want to film. For me, I love greenery. I love plants. I want there to be more plants in here. I've only got two, which it does kind of come into the shot, which is cool. I'm looking down right here because I have my little film set up here where I can see, um, see myself. Um, these books inspire me. I mean, we have my pointless album cover, a movie that I was in, a neon light with my name on the logo. In my opinion, you want a YouTube studio that fits you. Now, some people, they have, they talk about tech maybe. And so maybe they have their computers in there. Um, I would eventually like to have different sets that represent maybe different conversations that I'll have. So keep that in mind while I'm explaining to you what I have in my studio, because yours doesn't have to be just like mine. But if you like mine and you like the way it looks on camera, then and of course do it. So let's break down what I have in my studio. So first we got the neon light right here. And honestly, I feel like this was the centerpiece for what I wanted. I've been wanting a neon light for a long time. My girlfriend, Nachlin, she got this for me and it was, I think, I'm not even sure, but it was around 200 ish dollars. I think it, it also brings a little bit light, like uh, acts as like a key light on my back, which is cool. I'm not completely done with it. I want to add some, maybe some greenery, some vines, as well as some wall panels on the wall, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. But yeah, so that's about $200. There are tons of other neon signs that you can get for much cheaper but that's what we did here we have these shelves which i would say is the second thing that started to bring it together together and made it feel like a space for me um and they were only twenty dollars they were really easy to install i got them on amazon there's three different ones i really like that but there's also tons of other options that you can get on amazon etc and then the other biggest piece was this fucking couch knocklin was on facebook marketplace and she we were looking for something to put that i could film in that was vibe be velvet and honestly orange was the color that we were looking for which is crazy and she was like yo Cole, right now, this lady on Facebook Marketplace, 10 minutes away, is giving away a couch for free. Yo, we just got this couch for free. Thanks to knocking. It's literally a velvet couch from like the 50s, vintage. Down. Down. So awesome. All right, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. We're gonna get a new rug, but potentially have this here for a little while. Maybe a new plant. I don't know how I feel about it sitting on the wood on the... I'm really liking it. And then we want to get some decal. Yeah. Little white. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah. I feel good about it. Maybe another lamp, too. I think definitely. I told you we had anchors. That's true. Okay, it's not recording me. Very <laughs> stop. And we double checked it to make sure it had like no bugs or anything like that in it. Someone had actually passed away and this was in their house. And so she goes in and cleans up after people like that. And they pretty much got rid of everything in their house. But Facebook Marketplace is a gem, like so many gems for stuff like this. Uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, it's just super comfortable. I mean, it's vibey. As you can see, it just is super, it's chill. 
it's super chill. I love it so much. I think it really brought everything together. Then we got Bianca here. Bianca was about $30. Um, got her on Facebook Marketplace, but she is, I mean, super healthy, super big. Love that about her. We got my Pointless album cover right here. I printed this out when Pointless dropped, which was at this point in 2020, I believe. Yeah, 2020 Pointless came out. That was the EP. So I wanted to print that out. That's cool. A couple of books that really inspire me, Homo Deuce, which I'm still in the middle of reading. Will Smith, of course, love it. And we got the Party Hard poster, which is a movie that I was in, which is super awesome. Yeah, then over here on the shelves, I just wanted to put a couple random things that um, people had given me as gifts or that I thought connected with me. I'm not 100% sold on everything. 100%, I said that so fast. I'm not 100% sold on everything that's on these. Um, I like this side a lot, but I do think I can add some to it. And then over here, yeah, I have a leather journal. I got a couple books, one that my mom got me, another book here. Uh, the talented motherfucker sign, um, that Nachlin sister, thank you, Chi, got me. And my sister got me this like Edison bulb, her and her husband, Dion. So just like things and gifts that um, maybe I didn't know where else they would go or I thought they just fit really well with me. Um, but I do think I'll be changing this around a little bit in the future. Um, then, yeah, lastly, we have Mickey the Money Tree. We also have this uh, quilt right here that my stepmom made me uh, several years ago. And this is literally all the t-shirts that they ever bought me in like high school, middle school, lower school for, um, for school. You know, how like, you know, schools do that type of shit. They make the kids want to buy all these t-shirts and they spent so much money on it. And they're like, what are we going to do with all these t-shirts? And they created these, pl this blanket and it's really comfortable. And it's uh, nice to have on this couch because it kind of, it has a, I guess, down in it. And so it, yeah, these feathers come out of it, which I don't really like, but it's cool. So as you can see, literally, I mean, all of this is under $300, which is amazing. You don't have to have a lot of money to create a space kind of like this. If you're using Facebook Marketplace, if you're using things that already mean something to you in your home, main things that you will need, I, in my opinion, that make spaces look cooler are plants. I love plants. Shelves. You already got books. You already got posters. You already got things that mean stuff to you. So you don't have to go out and buy different things. Did I say couch? I can't remember. But yes, definitely like some sort of thing to sit in changes everything. Now let's take a look at what is behind, like what I'm looking at here. I'm tripping. Yeah, so we got the Shure SM7B microphone, which you can find on Amazon for like $300. Uh, I use my iPad a lot of the times to script, et cetera, which I don't have much of a script today, but um, I do just have some notes about the things that I have, which is cool. Literally this cheap as hell ring light. I mean, it is just like so cheap. It's for your phone. I used to use this big light that I paid a couple hundred dollars for, and it was just so much more expensive, um, but it was just too bright. I didn't have all the right things. It, to make it look great on my face, if that makes sense. If you know a lot about lighting, you'll understand that. But if you don't, honestly, one of these ring lights, like it really starts to look better. Um, yeah, the microphone, then of course I got the A7S III right here with uh, the Video Micro Pro or Video Rode Mic Pro. Uh, you don't have to have that because I'm also using the Shure 7. <clears throat> Shure, how you say it? I'm using the Shure SM7B, that's what it is. Um, so yes, you definitely don't need this, but I use it as well. And then down here, I got the H6 zoom recorder, which is how I'm recording on this uh, microphone right here. And then I have the, the Ola music, you can use any microphone stand. It does not have to be this one. Um, and then of course, just, you know, a standard microphone cable here and then my kombucha down here. Literally, that is all I'm using to film most of my YouTube videos. Now, the equipment that I just showed you is not the most cheap equipment that you could use. This lens, uh, the the F or uh, 16 to 35 uh, GM lens for the Sony, it's like two thousand dollars. The A7 S3 is like two thousand dollars. So you do not need that nice of a lens. I would get like some sort of like an A6400 
or a 6500. That's what I personally, would, if I was just starting, would probably get something like that. I would get a cheaper Rode Micro and you wouldn't even need like this Shure SM7B even though it is awesome. But these just aren't 100% necessary. In the description, if you go down there, I'll link some products that you might like. Um, and I'll also link what I currently am using uh, because it does work really well. And then of course, like the tripod as well. You do need some sort of tripod uh, for your camera. They don't have to be very expensive. It could be like 50 bucks. Um, I think this one, the Dolico is actually like 50 bucks. Lastly, really important thing. I do think lighting is so important. So I told you I have this little ring light, but also if you look back here, I've got a little teeny cheap ass white uh, light that you can change the hues on. You might be able to see it in the camera, but it changes. It's like a white light and then a dimmer yellow and then off. So, so simple. And it's the same concept back here too. It's a light that can go yellow, white, yellower, and then whiter, I believe. Um, and you can change the dimness. I think these are super helpful just for creating a vibe. It adds a lot to it. And so if you have a little ring light like this, that's brighting me up. Then you have this neon light that kind of acts as a key light, which hits like the back of me. These little lights back here that are just lighting all this up. And then it's lighting these up back here so it's not completely dark. Honestly, that's all I got. That's all you really need to start filming. Like I said, you don't need the most expensive camera and lens. Don't drop four Gs on that if you're just starting out. But as far as creating this home studio, that is all that you need. But yeah, all of that can just create an amazing studio space. I also use my phone a lot of the times. Let's see if it'll, I use the app Imaging Edge. This is for the Sony. Then I connect it. It looks like it connected it right off the jump. So I can see what I look like without actually having to buy like a separate monitor. I don't have a flip up screen, which I think the A6400 does if you wanted to get that one. Um, but it's really helpful. So, I mean, I just set it up like right underneath the camera, like camera's here. So I just set it up right here on my little chair and I can see myself perfectly fine. So that's um, that's another neat trick where you don't have to actually go out and buy like a monitor or something like that. You can just use your phone or your iPad. For me, <clears throat> future plans for this YouTube studio, definitely gonna be living here for the next uh, probably five months and maybe longer. So we do wanna continue to perfect it. I wanna put some more lighting, maybe some more unique lights over here. Uh, I was thinking about adding some vines right here to kind of cover this up and just create, um, you know, a cool vibe there. Same with some additional lighting here. Um, probably a different lamp situation. And this is a closet and you obviously in the corner, you can kind of see that, or maybe you can't, um, but I can definitely see from here. There's a lot of shit behind there. So I want to neaten that up and maybe make it something cool. I'll probably switch these out. Um, and then, yeah, I think I mentioned earlier, there's some wall panels or something. There's some really cool things on Etsy. Uh, as far as like wall panels go, there's cool designs where you don't have to actually destroy the wall while making something cool. And then it would also act as a sort of sound absorption. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions about what I did and how I did it, feel free to ask in the comments. Yeah, happy to help in any way that I can. And there's also some more information in the description. And if you want the specifics, then you can go to the blog, colecunner.com slash blog. I hope this helps. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Every day I wake up with a vision Cooking in the kitchen Ain't no fucking in a mission Like yo Shaking up your city with my bitchin Sold in the building And a motherfucker fizzin' Like whoa Cold won't stop till you get that gold Cold won't stop till you sing my song Auto